Hey Domino's peeps, welcome to Domino's. I have some exciting news today. I mean, we're gonna learn how to make our new pan pizza. But before we do that, I wanna introduce to you our new buttery crust. The nice thing about this dough is that it follows the same proofing guidelines as our hand tossed dough. For this rollout, you're going to receive in your store kit two new squeeze bottles and two new custom tri-tip tops, which we're going to use to prep pizza sauce. Let me show you how. If you use ready to use pizza sauce, just open the bag and pour the sauce into both squeeze bottles. If you use sauce concentrate, prep your sauce like you would normally do every day. And once you're done, fill a veggie top with sauce and use this to transfer the sauce to the squeeze bottle. Now, are you ready to make our new pan pizza? Well, let's make sure we have all our tools ready. Using the butter flavor oil pump, put 0.3 ounces of oil into the pan. The great thing about this pump is that it dispenses the exact amount needed. Now, using a silicone brush, evenly coat the whole surface of the pan, only going about halfway up the sides of the pan. Now, let me get my buttery pan dough, but before, remember, thumbs out. Okay, now we're going to gravity stretch the dough, using mainly the weight of the dough without creating a rim, and without pinching the dough. So you're basically using flat hands, like if you were doing a one hand clap. Once you get to about 60% of the size of the 12 inch pan, or the size of a 10 inch screen, place it in the pan sticky side down. We are now going to stretch using a similar technique to the one you use every day to stretch your hand tossed pizzas. The only difference here is that when you're gravity stretching, you are not creating a rim. It might get to the point that it's a little hard to push it all the way to the side of the pan using that technique. But at that point, you can switch to pulling the dough from the inside out, like pinching a pie crust. Gently finger docking the dough will ensure proper contact of the dough with the pan, which is critical for the proper bottom bake of the pizza. Any part of the dough that is not in contact with the pan will create white spots that can cause a remake. It is super important that the dough touches the sides of the pan without going up the sides to prevent cheese and toppings from going into the pan because it will make the pizza hard to remove from the pan at the cut table and it will also be too small. If when ducking the dough you feel any air trapped between the dough and the pan, release the air by lifting the dough and laying it back down. So now I'm going to show you some numbers that are critical for the building of our new pan pizza. Those numbers are 4, 3, 3. Apply 4 ounces of provolone cheese, making sure we're cheesing it all the way out, leaving no visible rim. Using your sauce in the squeeze bottle, apply 3 ounces of sauce, doing 10 horizontal swipes, evenly covering the pizza all the way out to the edge. Now, apply 3 ounces of pizza cheese. This is when making one or more topping pizzas, if you're making cheese only pizzas, apply 4.5 ounces of the pizza cheese. So all our 12 inch topping portions apply for a new pan pizza. The only exception is when making an American legend. Let me show you what I mean. Every pan pizza follows the 433. So after you apply your 433, build your American legend, but do not repeat the portions of the toppings that you already applied to the pizza. So no more provolone, pizza cheese, or pizza sauce. The only exception to this rule is when making a Philly cheesesteak pizza or a buffalo chicken pizza because it has American cheese. Just build those like you would in a thin crust. And I say a thin crust because we do not apply cheese on the crust of the pan pizza either. In your store kit, you receive two pan grippers, which you should use when a pizza is coming out of the oven. But first, let's place a box liner in the box to keep the box from becoming greasy. Grab the pan using your grippers and with the help of your pizza cutter, remove the pizza from the pan and place it in a 12 inch box. Cut into 8 slices and we do not apply garlic oil to the crust. So there you have it, that was our new pan pizza. Always remember to train a lot, because that's key to the successful launch of any of our products. 